Did I get the makeup artist? Very good. All right, Kim, just like spray painting with a spray can, you're going to put tough skin spray. This is a tough skin, skin spray. Um, yeah. It's so good. You don't want to soak it. Just paint it just like you would spray painting. Okay, you're going to need a heel and ice pad. Wait, was that? You want to get the athletic trainer to make you quite a few of these. Um, so, and they should come with skin lube on the inside to help prevent blisters. And you want to put them right on the Achilles tendon. This is usually the big hot spot area for blisters. You can get them here too. So you put them top and bottom. You can do another set of them if you want to. You don't have to. Okay. Then you're going to use, I got the tape. Free wrap. Pull your foot up for me. And cover all the layers of skin. Then you want to use athletic tape to anchor two anchor strips on the top. You want to make an X pattern so your angle's down like this, not like this. One on the forefoot. And your angle is up towards the pinky toe a little bit, not straight on, but towards the pinky toe. And then you're going to use ace tape. Looks like this. It's not as rigid as athletic tape. It's got a little bit of stretchiness to it, but it has an end point. You're going to take that, hold this, Jack. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Cut it down in the middle. And tear just long enough to wrap it around your foot, your forefoot. Go ahead and wrap it up. This is the meat and potatoes of the tape job. This is what's going to give you your Achilles tendon assist. Again, this is a plantar flexion assist tape job. Relax your foot. It's a key that the foot is relaxed. You want it down, you can even point it down a little bit if you want. The further down you point it, the more aggressive the tape job. And then you're going to anchor it to the top. So you figure out what your length is. Go slightly above the length of the pre-wrap. Cut it off and then do the same thing on the other end. And run a slice down through the middle. Just so you can anchor it on the lower leg. Pull it up nice and tight. An anchor on the top. This could have been a little bit longer, but that's fine. Anchor down your ace tape or elastic on it's called, and then you can pull your foot back up to finish the tape job. So now everything's anchored, and you just want to close it up. You can actually do so. This is the meat and potatoes. You can do another layer if you want. So you could do a second one, the same thing. You can also do, and this is a variation, you don't have to do this. Um, from the side, you're going to angle, relax your foot, up like so, and tear. And then you would do the same thing one more time. I don't have enough length on this roll on the inside, like so. And then you can close from there. I'm just going to close because it's enough. But you could do two more strips like this on the side. Anchor everything one more one more time. You could do it all at once and then anchor. You wouldn't have to. You could do all three and then anchor everything down. And then go ahead and pull your foot up for me. And then close from there. And there's no trick to closing it. You just want to work your way up. These strips are usually I start perpendicular to the floor and work my way up the ankle just to get it closed to hold everything in place. And then you can do a continuous wrap right through the middle to hold everything down nice and tight. And that's it. Hopefully this helps.